In some previous videos, I set up a QNAP NAS, and I set it up with one hard drive. In this video, I'm going to add a hard drive, and then we'll add it to the storage array. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to the products I'm using in this video down in the description. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'll click on storage and snapshots. And now I'm going to go add the drive to the machine right now, and then we'll see how it shows up in the system. Okay, so I added another drive and it made a big chime sound and said disk plug-in. Okay, so we had a second drive added. If we click on that, we'll see all the specs on this drive. Okay, so we're gonna click storage, storage snapshots. We'll click manage. We'll go down here to manage and we'll choose migrate. It says, please select at least one disk. I'll select disk two. And it says RAID type is single to RAID one. Estimated capacity is 3.36 terabytes. I'll hit apply. It says all of the data on the selected disks will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? I'll say okay. And it says this may take a few minutes. Please wait. So now I can close this. And here we have warning. So we'll go to our storage overview. And we have a warning here. And if we click it, it says rebuilding. So this will take a while to do to rebuild the array. And once this is done, I will come back and we'll change this to a RAID 5. So I'm going to stop the video now but it'll be in real time to you because I'll continue on where this left off. Okay, so the drive's finished rebuilding. That took about eight hours and 15 minutes, although I didn't measure exactly. So now what I want to do is add another drive, uh, and actually I'm gonna add two. So I'll have the four, four terabyte drives. Disk plug-in. Disk plug-in. So I don't know if the mic picked that up, but it said disk plug-in on the speaker on it when I plugged those two in. So in case there's any confusion, you can build the system with the four drives in. So I'm doing this to demonstrate if you say bought the system and put one drive in, then wanted to add another one later and add another as your needs grew or as you got more money and were saving up for this or whatever. If I go to overview, we see there's four drives now. So we'll go back to storage and storage snapshots. We'll click on our storage pool. We'll click manage. We'll click manage down here. We'll click migrate. And now we see RAID 1 to RAID 5. So I'll select both of these drives. I'll hit apply. And it says all of the data on the selected disks will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? I'll hit OK. This may take a few minutes. Please wait. OK, so I can close this. And you'll see it says it's migrating. Initializing or rebuilding RAID. OK, so now it says it's initializing or rebuilding RAID. OK, so it says warning migrating. And in a minute here, we should see this under background tasks. It'll tell the percentage left. But one thing you can do is go over to this gear here. And when you're on storage, you'll see this says RAID Group 1, RAID 5, migrating. It says default medium speed. Since I'm not doing anything on this server yet, I can say resync first, high speed. So that will put priority on the resync and it will make it a little bit faster, potentially. So I'll close this. It says, are you sure you want to leave without saving change settings? No. I have a suspicion that I can't reach the button on this page. Because <laughs> as I said before, I filmed this at 720p, so I'll have to, I bet there's an apply button down below. I'll have to wait until I'm done filming this and I'll hit that and I'll speed it up a little bit. So that's all for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to show how we can take one drive and turn it to two or three. So we went from single drive, we made it RAID 1, and then we switched it to RAID 5. So if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you have anything you want me to cover on this series, let me know. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.